Chaitanya together, okay? Till now, we have all been going in all directions. I want everyone to start when I say one, two, three. When I say three, that time you can start and we will all end it at the same time, okay? Please, let's do it. You can unmute. I'll give everyone a chance. Okay, who wants to go first? Please raise your hands. Tushita goes first. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you, Tushita. Hare Krishna. Let's go to Subhadra and Giridari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mm -hmm. Mataji today, Mataji today, did you know that today was our mom's birthday? Wow, <laughs> happy birthday to Mataji. What is Mataji's name? Mataji, Sangeeta Mataji. Sangeeta Mataji? Yeah. Ah. His name is Sangeeta Mataji. My mom knows her. Very nice. We wish her a very, very happy, blissful, Krishna conscious birthday. Okay, I hope you both are doing something special for Amma, for Mataji. Ryan, yes. please go ahead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Good, Ryan, Levan, and Sia, both of you are here. My sister is not here. Oh, okay, so Levan, you go ahead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much, Levan. So, Devi, you're next. Hare 
Okay, did you figure out your tune? When you figure it out, that time you can sing again, okay? Yeah. Pritu? Thank you, Pritu. Very nice. Mother. Which one you want? I want Hare Krishna. Try that. Not that one. <laughs> want... Hare Krishna. That one. <laughs> I want. Mataji's waiting. Everybody's waiting. Sing fast. Sing. Which we take anything. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Yama, Hare Yama, Yama Yama, Hare Hare. Thank you, Mataji. Raj Madhav, that was very sweet. Bal Vrinda, please go ahead. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Balavrinda. Very nice tune. Gaurangi. Ma Mataji, after Gaurangi, can I go? Where were you, Thank Giripari? You. Okay, yes, after Gaurangi. Gorangi, can you unmute? Yes, Mataji. Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mataji actually is just from the YouTube. Thank you. Wow, very nice. Thank you so much. Beautiful new tune, Gaurangi. Thank you so much. There you are, Giridari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna Mataji. Giridari. Next is Janavi and Vrinda. What happened? Janavi and Vrinda went. I, I think Vrinda changed my name. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Very sweet. Thank you so much, Janavi. Okay. Hare Krishna, Janavi. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Nice. Different tune. Thank you, Janavi. Kaushi and Deepak. Wow. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Nice. Thank you, Deepak. Very nice. Yes, Vikram. Vikram and Kashi? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama,
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Very nice. Thank you. And you both say Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you. So Raghav goes next. Let's see. I'm not able to spotlight you. What happened? Raga, can you unmute? Hmm. Okay. Who else is there? Satvik, are you there? Would you like to chant? Mataji, can I go? Ah, Raga, what happened? I couldn't hear you. Yes, Raga, please go ahead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you so much, Raga. Next, we have Satvik. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare. <laughs> Thank you so much, Satvik. That's very cute too. Okay. So if everyone's ready, we are ready to move on to our Lord Rama story. Okay. This is where Lord Rama was passing through the forest. And whom did he meet? Hmm? He, made, he met Guha, right? And Guha, they taught Guha and his community of tribals. They tried to host them in their area. But Lord Rama and Guha also knows. Lord Rama and Lakshman, they decide that, no, we are not going to stay so close to Ayodhya. We are not going to stay as a guest in anyone's place. We are told to live in the forest, so we have to honor that. And we want to go to the forest a little farther away from Ayodhya so that we are not affected by everything that's happening there and people won't keep trying to see them. So when it was morning daybreak uh, using uh, the banyan tree sap, you know, that is what they use to mat their hair. So they applied that sap. It makes it, you know, kind of very sticky and then they can, you know, put it together in a, in a bun on top. I, I forget the traditional name for that. So they tied up their hair, they matted their hair and tied it. So now with the, with the matted hair and with their bark robes, Rama and Lakshmana looked like sages. They both looked like rishis. And uh, the boatman was ready for them. And um, Rama decided that, okay, let us go from here. So Rama helped Sita onto the boat and Lakshmana followed behind. And Guha and all the others, they decided to help them go to the cross the river okay so the boatman was there and he started rowing the boat and rama at that point he said goodbye to sumantra so after uh, sumantra then obviously has to leave so sumantra also left and Rama, once they reached the opposite shore, Rama embraced Guha and he said, okay, thank you so much for your hospitality, for being so nice, uh, such a nice host. So uh, I am going to leave. And Rama, Lakshman and Sita, they start walking towards the dense forest. Hmm. So Lakshman went ahead and uh, Sita Devi was in the middle of the two and That's Rama was walking behind. Okay, Rohini Madhanu, please mute yourself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then uh, as they walked, they heard the sounds of nice birds, bees all around. And so Rama started getting worried. This is very deep forest. Oh, how is Sita going to handle this? How is Sita going to manage here? So Rama decided, yes, I have to be very alert. So he held on to his bow tightly and he placed his other hand 
on the sword that he have he has a sword has uh, strapped on his belt so he held that sword and held his bow and they oh, all started walking in the forest after some time they were very tired and hungry so they uh, found some forest roots some forest bulbs and with that they tried to have that for dinner and then they decided to rest for the night but now that lord rama was away from all the other people and the three of them were only were alone in the forest right with no more followers no more supporters lord rama started getting anxious he started thinking about all the events that happened and he started thinking about his dear father and mothers and he started worrying oh my now that the kingdom is in the hands of the evil uh, kaiki what are my parents going to do how is she going to keep them is she going to trouble them he had so many worries and then he started feeling sorry he started repenting i made a bad decision i shouldn't have immediately left i mean and now that i have left i can't go back but i want lakshman to leave so he asked lakshman early next morning you have to leave for ayodhya and lakshmana he started thinking oh how is that even going to happen but lord rama he was uncontrollable he was in so much pain thinking about his parents he was constantly worried about them and so uh, when finally rama cooled down lakshmana said please don't keep me away from you my dear brother i cannot even stay for a moment in your absence so please you have to be uh, you have to have faith on bharata with bharata in the kingdom you don't have to worry about anything he is very pious and he will take good care of our parents okay i only wish to remain here with you so uh, he says yes this is uh, lakshmana's position lakshmana is always like a shadow for lord rama okay so then after that rama calm down and at night under the shelter of a big tree a large tree rama and sita lay down okay so they were resting but what did lakshman do was lakshman resting no lakshman once again stood awake at a short distance why because this is unexplored territory right he doesn't know what is going to come how are things going to be in the jungle are some wild animals going to attack them so that's why lakshman did not sleep again and he was guarding them the next morning once again they started moving forward they started walking towards the ashram of sage bharadwaj and rama he start he explained okay once they reached they started walking towards ashram and they could see you know as the ashram was nearing they can see wood trees are chopped down and there is all signs of humans walking around so hmm, rama and lakshmana knew we are very close to the ashram and once they reached the beautiful ashram one very peaceful ash environment rama goes and they may they are offer their obeisances to bharadwaj muni and rama tells what happened rama says i am here following the you know instructions of my father and i have to be in exile for the next 14 years so bharadwaj he says yes i already know about it because bharadwaj has he's got lot of spiritual credits so he is able to see the future and he could see what is happening even in some other place so he says okay you are free to please come and stay in this ashram with uh, all of us but rama he refuses and he says that we need to be in a little more quieter um, environment a little farther away from ayodhya please suggest a good place for us so then bharadwaj rishi says of course if that is what you want i would like i would like you i, I think you would enjoy being here okay so satvik do you have a question okay we'll find out so then um yeah 
Uh, after that, Rama, Lakshman, and Sita they start walking further up the mountain. So they are going farther from Bharadwaj uh, Rishi's ashram, and they start going towards the next ashram, which is Valmiki's ashram. So uh, they love the atmosphere in that particular mountain, and they go to Valmiki's ashram, and they uh, meet the sage. So Valmiki was so happy to see them. And he talks to them about his past. He says that now I may be a powerful ascetic. Now I'm a powerful sage. But before, that was not my case. I used to plunder people. I used to rob and kill people. And that was how I maintained my family. And then he started telling his story. Does anyone know the story of Valmiki? Nobody? Oh, yes, Ryan. Mataji, can I say something? Yes. I I think that Valmiki uh, uh, writes the first Ramayana. Very good. Yes, Valmiki wrote the Ramayana. And now... Mataji, uh, can I go? Yes, Ryan. I right, want to have some questions now. You want to have questions now? No, the questions now. No, you need to wait for some more time and then we'll have a question, okay? Oh, so Mai was asking, what was Valmiki's past? Okay, so Valmiki's past, if nobody knows, I see three raised hands, but if any of you know, unmute and you can say. <clears throat> so Valmiki in the past was a robber. He used, to, uh, he used to attack anybody who used to come through the forest and he used to take all their wealth away from them. And that was how he, uh, he took care of his family. He maintained his family. Once what happened, Valmiki was ready to attack the person. Who is this person opposite Valmiki? Does anyone know? Narada yeah, so what does Narada Muni does? He have a lot of wealth and he's carrying that around with him? No. No. But Valmiki wanted to attack him. So Narada said, I have nothing over here with me that I can give you materially. But see, <clears throat> I will give you something if you first go and ask your family this one question. Okay, ask them, are they prepared to accept the share of sins that you're accumulating because of all these crimes you're committing? You're killing people, you're looting people, you're robbing from them. Okay, so ask them. So Valmiki said, yes, yes, my family is very, very supportive of everything I do. They will also accept it. But when Valmiki goes and talks to his family, they all say, no. Yes, what is it? You have a question? <laughs> Yes, Mataji, I have a question. I was saying that Mataji, that uh, uh, actually I know the Valmiki past. Uh, he when when Narada Muni uh, uh, was by uh, by him, and when Valmiki uh, was, try, was trying to kill him, and the uh, Narada Muni said, said chant this uh, word Mara, and and without like uh, over eons. He, he, he was uh, chanting the word Rama instead of Mara. Very good. Yeah, very good. So that's what Valmiki goes. He tells his family, are you going to accept my sins also? And his family, nobody accepted. His wife did not accept. His children did not accept. His parents did not accept. So he was like, what kind of a family is this? Every day when I bring nice food for them, they are ready to take it. But when I say you have to also take a part or portion of the sins that I'm accumulating from this, they are not ready. I don't want this family anymore. So he was very desperate and very sad and he leaves his family for good. He renounces his family life. He renounces all that bad activity he was doing and he goes back to Narada Muni. And Narada Muni advises him, see, you sit and you meditate on the word Mara. Mara meaning death okay so maras mara 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 what does it become it becomes ra mara 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 so like this valmiki constantly chanted continuously and by the effect of that chanting it purified him completely and he became a very powerful rishi 
So Rama and Lakshman decided, yes, we will try and stay. This is a little farther away from Ayodhya. We will try and find another place in this very beautiful forest of Chitrakoot and we'll stay close to Valmiki's uh, ashram. So like that, because Sita Devi was so, she was so uh, enchanted to see this beautiful place. Chitrakoot was so beautiful. There are very nice waterfalls, very nice. I, I think I missed it. Yeah, there are very nice waterfalls, very nice, uh, beautiful uh, uh, groves. The trees are so overburdened with the fruits, they are hanging down. And then there are big honeycombs. And the place is so beautiful. It's full of birds and animal life and everything. So Sita Devi was so excited. Even Lord Rama's sulky mood was gone. He was very happy to be in there. So he asked Lakshman, please construct a cottage for a cottage for us here. And Lakshman immediately he makes a nice strong wall, you know, wood wall, timber wall uh, cottage with a nice roof. And Lord Rama, he lights a fire and with all the roots that they gathered, they cooked in that fire, they made food. And he offered that food. See how Lord Rama himself is, you know, eating their uh, prasadam, eating their food. How is he doing it? He first offered it to the God. And then he prayed to all the Lokapalakas, okay? The deities who are guarding all the uh, four sides, the quarters of the universe and he told them please sanctify this home please protect this home and they all entered Rama and Sita entered it together and it was a very nice spacious hut okay so uh, they entered it there and Rama decided this particular area is going to be for the worship of Lord Vishnu so he prepared an altar over there and Sita Devi had her own space Okay, so all of them were very happy that they found a nice place and they settled down in Chitrakoot. So I have a question for you all. If anyone wants to participate, you can. So how is life in a forest? And what do you like the most about being in a forest? Do you have in a forest? Hare Krishna, Mataji, Deepa, can I answer, please? Yes, go ahead, Deepa. Um, life in a forest is tricky and hard where you will find big challenges like tigers will come and um try to hurt you and um, um big trees might fall down so you have to be safe. And also, I what I like about the forest is um we have um uh, uh like big lakes and mountains and we and we have birds and I can see my favorite animal elephants. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so much, Deepak. Kaushi, did you want to say? To you? Um. Very dangerous at the forest because Ravan is there. Oh my, not anymore. Because Rama killed Ravana. Yeah, but what do you like about being in the forest? Mm, I, li I like that there are all animals. Okay. Thank you, Toshi. Ryan, please go ahead. Yeah. Are we asking questions now? Yes. Mataji? Yes. Yes, Ryan. Maybe um, can the man who is trying to kill Nanamuni? Nanamuni. Yes, that's right. Can you tell me, do you like living in a forest? And if so, what do you like the most? Okay, Ryan, I, do you want to answer that? Maybe not, I'm not sure. Livon, you're next. Oh, baby's crying. Okay, I see that, Ryan. 
Levon, please go ahead. Um, I like being in a forest because um, there are different kinds of birds and animals. And it would be fun to live in a fo forest because then you could do some challenging stuff like make um, cottages with branches like Rama, Sita, and Lakshman, and and um, dodging and dodging um, the raptors. Raptors! Oh my! Okay, very nice. Uh, bird raptors. Uh huh. Thank you, Manti. Thank you so much, Levon. Very nice answer. Okay. Satvik, your hand is raised. I'm, yeah. Would you like to go ahead? Oh. Um, and uh, what I like with the forest is like all the, all the trees and, and beautiful flowers. And well, there's some flowers in the forest. And then. Yes. You like being close to nature? I would. I would want to see it like peek at a tiger behind a tree. <laughs> you want to see a tiger? Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you so much, Satvik. Yes, Gaurang, uh, sorry, Janavi Dalai. So what the thing I like from the forest is that it has really lovely, lovely flowers and they're so bright colors but sometimes it becomes dark and I also like sometimes it rains and then a rainbow comes that and my favorite animal is there is a bunny wow okay you will find lots of bunnies even where I live so yeah Vikram Kashi I, I want to see a tiger thank you Mataji Thank you. Okay, next is Subhadra. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> it's scary. I don't think we want to see it in the wild. Subhadra and Giridari. I think Giridari. Mataji, can I, can I say first, Mataji? Yeah. Yeah. Mataji, uh, I think I, I answered the questions. Uh, I think I answered three questions. So let me say the uh, life in the forest question. I was saying that Mataji did the most, uh, I, I like about the forest most that you could meditate like yogis, sages like, uh, like Dhruva, like sometimes Bruva like uh, did a uh, meditation in in the in the forest and like with help of Narda Muni so he is his guru and that that is the fun that you can uh, peacefully uh, uh, um, meditate in a forest that is peaceful and no one will disturb you wow okay thank you so much Giridari das Badra okay Go ahead, so uh, if, if there was a life, if, if there was a life in a forest, then it would look like that, that we would uh, meet the other animals and look at them and, and we'll live with them and stay in the wild and we will become like wildness and <laughs> and Mataji, so actually if you stay there for a long time, you might you might stay the others um like the other animals and look and sit down somewhere and and i think um uh i think i like most is is peace, peacefulness because the trees are waving and the the atmospheres the atmospheres are shining and uh and and the rainbows and, and, and rainbows and Sky is is turning and, and mountains and valleys and, and mountain and mountains of valleys and, and other the other things. Uh, it's nice to see that. Uh, that so uh, I like that the most. Mataji, I would like to see it. Thank you so much. 
Very nice realization. <laughs> yes, Madhav, who is going next? Yeah. Madhav, please go ahead. I see one trail in the forest and then I see one I see one hell in the in the hell in the forest. Oh, what is that? What is that? What? Trail and what? Trail in the hen. What is hen? Did you hill? say chicken? Yes. Hill, hill. Ah, hill. Oh, hill. Okay. Wow. You like the hill? I see you. I see a waterfall to you. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Wow. You want to see all that. Beautiful. Tushita, you want to go next? Oh, actually, I have Rinda also. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I like in the forest when birds sing and fly. And? What else you were saying? <laughs> then you can see a beautiful rainbow. Rainbow? Yeah. Very nice. Thank you so much, Tushita. Brinda. it is not scary in the daytime it is only scary in the night because mm -hmm. at the night the wolves come from the woods mm -hmm. i really know those stories because the, those stories are really famous it happened with lots and lots of people so you shouldn't go to the forest and live because if you live there then crocodiles will be there it is really scary but only in the daytime you can go but it's really good to come uh, you can't go outside in the nighttime but you can only go outside um in the morning time but don't you shouldn't come really early you should come like the time like 7 a.m or something and then you can just pick up the flowers but if you see anything like a wolf or something you just got to go in your house so that's why it's really scary to live um in the forest i just asked about being in a forest we don't have to live there okay thank you very nice brinda janavi you want to go next yeah. um what I like about this forest that it's really colorful. Mm -hmm. um, and my favorite part of it is with the waterfalls. In okay. uh, my, in my, in, in the very morning, if you go there, then you'll hear the birds chirping. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really peaceful and quiet there. Yes, that's right. And my favorite animal there is probably a horse. <laughs> You're not going to see too many horses there. <laughs> hmm, very nice. Thank you, Janami. Go on. Go on. Yes, my teddy. I don't like forest. Okay. Yeah. I like forest because there should be lions and where lions and crocodiles and like elephants. When when we come to the forest to sit with our pets, they can eat our pets, but they are danger because our pets are small if we go to the forest, but mm -hmm. We have to know that do not go there because in the dark it will be real scary to go home. And right. You got to go to the help. Thank you, Mataji. Very nice. Thank you so much, Gaurangi. Okay, that's a different perspective, Sudevi. Yes, Mataji. I mean, I like the um, I like the rivers there, uh, and I. I also like very much the greenery. Wow. Okay. Very nice. Thank you so much, Devi. Uh, Raghav. 
Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Thank you, Mataji. Very nice. Thank Very you so much. Very beautiful tune. Okay, Raga and Gayatri, before we go, I wanted to tell you that we are almost at 6.15, so I would rather prefer taking all of us to a breakout uh I'm not Gaitri, I'm Janavi. Yeah, Raghav and uh, Janavi Dalai. Yeah, so uh, Raghav, do you want to say, Mataji, you want me to move to the breakout room? We can do that. Yes, yes, Mataji. Okay. I'll just make one room now. Papa. Mataji, we are making one? Yes, Mataji, only one. She's not there, okay. They all went, okay. Okay, kids who 